Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we had a great question. Somebody asked me what I use to back up my websites and this will work for other websites as long as it's WordPress. It doesn't have to be Divi. So this is not specifically a Divi theme video today. I use something called WP Vivid. I think I've covered this before but I'm happy to cover it again. If I go down to my dashboard on this site and you go down there, I've got a little plugin called WP Vivid. It's a free plugin. I use it for migrating and backing up all my small to medium sized sites. Larger sites I usually have to move the databases and the files manually. But for most medium sites this works absolutely perfectly and like I say it's free. To get it go ahead and go to your plugins page. You want to go up to add new. Just type in WP Vivid. As you can see, it's popped up here. I've already got mine installed, so there's no install. Usually there'd be a little install button. Go ahead and install and activate. Okay, once you've got it installed and activated, what I'll do right now is I'll make some changes to this site. I'll back it up first, and then we'll make some changes and restore it to how it was. And also, I've got a just a plain brand new installer WordPress over here. What we'll do is we'll migrate this whole site from here to the new site just to show you how easy it is. And this is a great thing. You can also schedule backups as well. I'll show you how to do that in a little while. Okay, so here's the site as it is. If I visit the site now, it's got those sort of glowing call to action buttons that we did yesterday there. That's our home page. This site's got about 20 pages or so. So it's sort of small to medium, but uh, I'm going to go in right now. I'm going to make a backup. So I'm going to go down to WP Vivid right here. Backup and restore. I'm going to go ahead and hit the backup now button. And I have database and files selected. You can do just the files and just the database if you want to. And I'll pause this while it's doing it. It may take a minute or so. Okay, and it's letting us know up here one backup task has been completed. If we roll down, there's today's date, June the 10th, 2022. Here's the backup we just created right here. All right, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go in, let's change the home page perhaps. So I'm going to go to Appearance, Customize. Uh, let's go ahead and change the home page. So I'm going to go to home page settings. Change it back to that sort of Ken Burns type effect. Okay, so we've got a totally new home page here. It's only got that one thing on it. It's that sort of sliding Ken Burns. Let's publish that. Okay. Now if we visit the site, as you can see, we've got this new home page up here. Now perhaps you didn't want to do that, perhaps something happened, the database messed up and you need to get it back to how it was when we backed it up just now. We'll go back to our WP Vivid. Here's that backup that we created right there. I'm going to hit restore over here. It's giving this little thing because I'm working on localhost today. It doesn't make any difference. It seems to restore absolutely perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the restore button. And I'll show you how to schedule these a little bit later. I definitely want to continue. And again, I'll pause. This may take a couple of minutes. Okay, that took about two minutes and we've got a little pop-up saying it's completed successfully. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's restored it. No need to re-log in because we're already in the same site. Now if I visit the site, it should be back to our little glowing buttons again. There we go. So we've gone from that 
to this, we've restored our bucket. Okay, well, let's make this interesting. What we're gonna do now is move this whole site, like I said, it's about 20 pages or so, over to this plain WordPress site right here. So if I go back to this site, go down to the pages, I'll just show you, it's got about 20 pages or so. So for a little agency site or something like that, it's probably about average. Now we've already made our backup in the WP Vivid. So what I'm now gonna do, I'm gonna download this backup. If we look over here, it says download. Hundred and twenty megs. Go ahead and hit the download button. I'm using Google Chrome here, so mine's downloading it to my browser. If you're using a different browser, it's going to download it to your default download location. In most Windows boxes, that's going to be in your downloads folder in your documents. Okay, well that was fairly quick. Great. Let's go over to our new site here. Like I say, it's a brand new installer WordPress. So I'm going to go down to the dashboard. And go down to plugins. I'm actually going to delete these. I never use these. Some people do. Okay, now we're going to add new. WP Vivid. There we go, it's popped up there. I'm going to go ahead and install it. Once installed, I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And there we have it, it's taking this straight to the page. Okay, I want to upload the file that we just downloaded from our other site, which is right there. Here's our upload. And just to show you, it's a, just a regular WordPress, plain vanilla site, nothing on it at all apart from that Hello World page. So I've hit the upload and it's brought up this little box we can drop our files to. So I'm gonna simply drag and drop mine here. Or you can hit that little select files button and browse to your download location. As you can see, it's popped it there. I'm gonna go ahead and say upload and a little percentage bar starting right here. Again, I'll pause this for a second if it starts taking too long. Okay, we're up to about 90% now. That's taken about two minutes. It's told us it's completed now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Okay, now we've got that uploaded. Let's go ahead and hit restore. And again, we've got that little message there. I'm gonna hit restore. Yep, absolutely sure. And again, I'll pause this and may take a couple of minutes. And when it's completed, it'll ask us to log in with the old credentials from the site that we just migrated from, not this new site. Okay, and we've just now got the message. That took about a minute and a half, two minutes. Restore completed successfully. Let's hit that. And it's now prompting us to log in. And we've got to log in with the credentials from the site that we actually backed up just now. Okay, and we're back in. Let's go over here and just refresh this page and we should have our old website on this new website here. So let's refresh this. And there we go. We got our whole website migrated over. Just go back in. This is a dead menu. This is just an example menu. So I'm not sure if it'll actually take me anywhere or not. Yeah, it did. Great. Well, that seems to be working. So there we go. Let's just make sure it looks right. Everything's there. Make sure all the plugins and themes that we should have on there are there. Yep. Fantastic. We've got our themes. We will make sure Divi's in there. I know it is because it wouldn't be displaying correctly if not. Yep, there we go. So there we have it. We've backed up this whole site over here, D22. 
and we moved it over to WPV. I'm doing my local host. It's exactly the same if you're doing it online. And I'll just show you, you can schedule these backups. Obviously, you can't do migrations manually uh, on the schedule, but you can schedule backups for your site, which is a great little feature. It really is. And to schedule backups, you can set the number that you want to actually schedule and how often you want to do it. Simply next tab over here, schedule. Check the little box. Roll on down, choose the frequency, whether hourly, daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly. Choose what you want to actually back up, whether it's the database and files or just the WordPress files or just the database. For large sites uh, that it won't actually it times out because of the file size. You can just do the database and that's really handy. You can, uh, I've got it set to save backups on my local host, my web server. So it would save these to your hosting, wherever that may be. Mine's a local host for this particular case. But you can send backups to remote storage, such as Dropbox and Google Drives and things like that, which is really handy. And for a free plugin, it really is a useful tool move over here to settings here's the amount of backups you can decide to keep I've got mine set to three I'm pretty sure that's the default actually so mine will just keep three settings down if I roll back backup restore page as you can see I've got three there so it really is a great plugin especially for a, a free one and this will back up my site once a week so if there's a problem an update happens and we can't get in there or something you can go in and back it up or if it's if it's beyond repair, you can actually go into your hosting database, go into the plugins and get the backups from there, install a fresh WordPress on, on your site, do what we just did by installing WP Vivid, and then the backup that you've recovered, just upload it, you're good to go. So like I say, that's a great little plugin, absolutely free. It's called WP Vivid, highly recommended. So I hope that's answered your question for you and I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.